Welcome back. In this video we're going to have a look at some of the further features of objects. So we're going to have a look on the features tab here and it gives you several different options and when you enable one of these options a new tab appears up here with further things that you can set on it. So at the moment I'm selected on a box object and I'm going to say that the object is a container which means it can be opened or closed. So if I then click on container here, you see the tabs appeared and select it's a container like that. It shows me all of the objects. So when I have a look at the box, it will say there is a box containing and it will give a list of things that the box contains. It tells you whether the object can be open or closed and it can also set the, st the status at the start of the game. So I'm going to untick is open. Now when I've got my object done like this I can print a message when opening the box and print a message when closing the box. I can also add scripts when closing and opening the box and I can even set a lock on it which lets you unlock the box. So there's all sorts of features built in by default. What we're going to have a look at now is we're going to add some objects to this box. So I'm going to, being clicked on the box, click on object and I'm going to say it's a knife and I'm going to make sure that it lives in the box. Okay, and it will update and you can see the knife is stored under the box here. And then I'm going to add another object which is going to be a uh, wand. And again, I add it to the box. Okay. Now each of these objects has its own settings. So for example, I can click on the knife and on the inventory I can say yes you can take the knife and I'm going to do the same thing for the wand. Now when I play my game what we'll see is that there will be a room with a box in it and we can open the box. So there you can see milk and a box. I click on it, open the box and then when I say look again it says you can see milk and a box containing a knife and a wand and I can then take the knife from the box and when I say look again you can see that there's a box containing a wand. So this is a very simple way to get things going and some fun interactivity in your game. I'm just going to talk you through the other features quickly. So. The use and give means that you can use the object along with other objects or characters. So you could give the knife to a person or you could use the knife with a piece of ham or some rope. Container we've already looked at, that's boxes. Switchable are things like light switches or projectors or televisions, that kind of thing. And it means you can turn them on and off. Edible, you can eat it. and you can become this object. I'm going to leave that one up to your imagination. If we just have a look at switchable here, so now we can turn our wand on and off and what you can see is we can run a script when it's turned on and we can run a script when it's turned off. So there's all sorts of options that you can have and investigate into. Have a play and see how it works. In the next video, we're going to look at verbs and how we can add extra verbs to our objects.